Okay guys, so today we are going to create a drop down menu and whenever a user clicks the button and a menu is going to appear and whenever we click it, it is going to be close. It is, it is going to be a very simple tutorial. So let's get started. Okay, so on your screen is basically the initial code of our application. And today what we want is we want a button over here and whenever user clicks on the button, a menu should open. So we are going to use our top app bar and we are going to use the built-in property of top app bar, which is the action. Action buttons are used in the top bar when we want some extra buttons on our top app bar. And by using actions, we can add our action buttons. So for adding actions, all we need to do is write actions and start a scope it is a raw scope so whatever you are going to put inside is going to add horizontally okay so first of all we want something to manage the state of our drop down menu so for this i am going to create a mutable state i am going to name it is expanded and mutable state of by default it will be false okay now uh, i want one thing more is i want a list of actions which we are going to put in our menu for this i am going to create a list i am going to name it action list and it will be a list of simple strings it will be action one, two, and three. After creating the list, we are going to create an icon button. For that, I am going to use icon button. And in the on click, I am going to put is expanded equals to. And inside icon button, I am going to put an icon, which will be icons dot default dot menu vertical vertical more vertical okay it will be null and will have a tint of color dot white okay so this is our button which is going to be pressed by user and our menu is going to open but where is the menu we haven't created yet so for creating it we will simply write drop down menu here we are going to put our state in this case it is is expanded and whenever user press outside the menu or presses the button this request is going to invoke and here we are going to put our code for closing the menu okay so here is our menu and then we need to put our buttons or your views which are going to be shown whenever drop down menu is going to open here it is column scope it means that uh, you can add but uh, multiple icons or items in the vertical manner so as we have created a list we are going to use that it's action list for each i'll say action and here we are going to use the default drop down item which is drop down menu item and in place of text we are going to put the text composable the text will be our action because it is a string and whenever it is clicked first thing we need to do is we need to close this and below this we can put our code whatever you need to do with the action okay so that's it and one more thing we can do is if you want to add icon in the drop down item you can also do this for this you have a built-in property which you can see here you can add linking icon you can also add trailing icon for adding icons in your buttons so i think that's all let's now run this and see our app in action 
okay so this is our app and whenever you are going to click this button our menu is going to open great okay so guys that was all for today i hope you have liked the video this was a very simple tutorial but yet sometimes many developers get stuck in this thing that's why i created this tutorial i hope you have liked this and if you do please do like this video and subscribe to my channel that was all for today we'll meet you in the next